Today we're going to learn how to play one of ThinkFun's three brand new programming logic games called Rover Control. Rover Control teaches basic computer science concepts like control structures, loops, and conditionals. Inside the box we have a challenge booklet, our game boards, a number of tokens that you use throughout, such as your rovers, as well as charging stations, data upload stations, start and end tokens, and terrain samples. We also have solutions and a few erasable markers. Once we've opened Rover Control up to a challenge, we'll have all the information we need to set up the board and play the puzzle. So on this challenge, it's telling us that we need one of our two rovers, which we'll put into its stand here. We need a start and an end piece and no charging or data upload stations, as well as no checkpoints. Those will become relevant in more difficult challenges later on. We're going to place our starting token at number seven on our game board and our ending token at number nine. And then we're going to take our colored marker and we're going to fill out the four lines on the map according to the colors shown in our setup. Now, in rover control, we're given instructions on the course that our rover has to take to get from the start to the finish. We're given the colors that tell us the order that the rover has to move in, but we don't know which spaces on the map are filled in with those colors. So that's what we have to figure out to solve the challenge. When you're playing, you have to remember that each color can only connect to a point on the map once. So if we have a blue line here, we can't have another blue line here between eight and zero or another one between eight and nine. Now, we don't have to fill out the entire map to figure out our path, but we do have to go from start to finish. And in this case, that means red, blue, and then red. In challenge number one, you would fill out two sections of the path with red in order to get from start to finish. And that would be here, the section between four and seven, as well as here, the section between number one and nine. And now our rover can follow the instructions moving along a red path, and then a blue path, and then a red path to get to the end. Rover Control was invented by Mark Engelberg. Mark is a game inventor who used to be a virtual reality programmer at NASA, and then spent time designing video games, and since then has been an educator and game inventor for ThinkFun for many years. He created our new code series, to help kids learn core coding concepts through hands-on gameplay.